please welcome Aisha Tyler, everyone. Welcome back to the show, Aisha. I love How lovely it here. to see you. You, you like it here? I do. I love we, it. We've here. been decorated since it's you It's very were. fancy. It's all big. And you know, you got all big for your britches now. Yeah, Hollywood. I'm all big for all my britches. Hollywood's like five times as big as it was last time I was here. Yeah, yeah. LA is. Look at that vast expanse. Look at that city Gorgeous. teeming with life. There's my house. Is that your house over there? Don't stalk me. <laughs> yes. No, Turn the know. light out. It's fabulous. It looks great. Yeah, no, it's all right. How you look fabulous. You look lovely. Well, you know, Tuesday's shower day. So. Yeah, you know. nice. Yeah. Nice. I, are got you, I got all the parts today. Are you, go, are you out doing... <laughs> Tuesday, we get all the parts. Nice. I, classy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, cla I'm a classy lady. Yo, once, <laughs> twice, three times a lady. <laughs> are you going out doing stand-up again? Are you out doing... Yeah, I'm out, I'm out back on the road doing some stand-up. You know, I, that's how I started out doing stand-up. That's, you know, how I got into Talk Soup. And, uh, and then the last couple of years, I've just been doing television and movies, and I didn't get a break, and it's my first time off. No, so. getting, doing television and movies is getting a break. It's getting, it's getting I, a break, yeah. So true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, that was the other thing is like you love doing stand up, but you get paid, you know, for a week's worth of work doing stand up what you make in like, you know, half an hour doing television. You're like grinding and not, sweating. Not, well, not you, not but here. me. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Very, it's a very different thing. Yeah, so. The money stops here, baby. This is it. So where are you going? Where are you I'm going, going up to San Francisco, my Ooh, hometown. Nice. You're yeah, from there. Yeah, 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 it's my hometown. One yeah, person. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Well, they're, they're not from there, and no, they don't like not. it. Why should they clap? <laughs> we don't like San Francisco. Why should we clap? Fake it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you do stand-up here in Los Angeles? No, I don't get out that much here. I mean, I go to the Improv every once in a while just to work out. But when you go down there, it's like, you know, if you go, like, to a club in your hometown, you know, everybody loves you. You know, they're there to see you. You go out to the Improv, and it's like you and you and Drew Carey and Ray Romano and Chris Rock, and everybody's, like, grinding out the material, and, you know, yeah. it's kind of ugly. It can be a little ugly. Everybody eats it. That's the great thing about comedy is that everybody eats it. Not me. Yes, you do. Yeah, yeah. Did, did you see the monologues no, tonight? The monologues <laughs> is, that, is that what you're talking about? That's what you're talking about. No, isn't it? no, no, I love the part yeah. with the guy and the the guy and the thing and the thing and the, yeah, and the lady no, that with was the all, That was my favorite bit. <laughs> what do you say to a comedian that you, if you know them well and they come off stage and they've just had a terrible time? What do you say? To you them? say, um, dude, that shirt really fits you well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what you say? I've got the perfect thing you should say. Uh. You. <laughs> are you. Whoa. Oh, mister, oh, what about that? What about yeah, that? Yeah. Or you go, oh, sweetie. Mm. That's, what people, <laughs> that's what people do to me all the time. All the time. Yeah. It's it's every night after the show. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sweetie, mm. never mind. Yeah. I've got cookies upstairs, and I'll, I'll flash you my boobs, and then they forget everything. Really? You really have got cookies? That's a remedy for anything. Like yeah, no, I just went, really? my, I yeah, forgot I everything forget. I was doing. <laughs> With your boyfriend or your husband, you know, like when I'm at home and my husband says to me, I just go, want to look at my boobs? And he goes, Yes! And then, you know, the fight that's is over. Nice. That's very that's good. Nice. He goes, You always cheat. No, yeah. no, that's, that's not cheating. That's using what you got. That's <laughs> fair. Yeah. Absolutely. That's, absolutely. Have you, are you making any special plans for Valentine's Day with your husband? I, you know, no, I'm going to be doing a show, actually, a special Valentine's Day show. All the couples can come out. You know, I promise you, come to the show. I'll get you late. Well, um, the. <laughs> Are you talking in San Francisco? Yeah, in San Francisco. Well, all the couples have already yeah, come out right. in San Francisco. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm not a really big fan of Valentine's Day. I just think it's kind of a disappointment. You know, it just, you know, you, know you always have like all these expectations of how great a day it's going to be, and girls are always like, oh, I'm going to get diamonds, you yeah. know, and guys are always like, oh, I'm going to get a <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's always disappointing, is what I'm saying. I know you, madam. <laughs> Gets what they want. Is no. What I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like I looked into your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's no, it's you. A good lord. Yeah. I've got I a, think that'll get bleeped out. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. We, we have to go to commercials and, and find out. We, we, we'll be right back with Aisha Tyler, everybody. Lovely monkeys. I am here with uh, the delightful Aisha Tyler, who's got a mouth like a sailor. Oh, if you may. I'm naughty. 
<laughs> yes, you are a bit naughty. Listen, we were talking about your your husband before the break. Are you married to a comedian? Is he? A... No, no, he's not a comedian. He's a, he's a lawyer. You know. A lawyer. Yeah, you're married to a, a lawyer. lawyer. Nice. Lawyer. Yeah, so yeah. He'll be dealing with any calls you get about that last segment. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, you know, I like the smart guys. The smart, you know, an intellectual, a hot guy is important. My husband's very good looking, but an intellectual guy, I think, is a little bit more exciting. You know, because you can have good conversations, and and also I think they try harder. Yeah. You know, in, in the bedroom. You know what I mean? Because they know. Well, it's like a hot guy doesn't have to try. You know what I mean? He's like, I'm hot. You know, just get on this. You know. But an intellectual guy. <laughs> He has to impress you. If he doesn't impress you, you're not coming back. So those guys, you know, they study, they get on the internet, you know, they limber up and stuff, you know, they got they got tricks and things like that, you know, they got spotters, you know, they, they're there to impress. Spotters? <laughs> they have spotters? You know, tag out. You know. Yeah, yeah, no, I, uh, intellectual guys go on the internet think, to do what? I think to learn things. To learn about yeah, sex. Tricks, the swirly this is This is your bar of intellectualism. If a guy goes on the internet to learn about sex, he's smart? <laughs> That way, it does seem to encapsulate yeah, yeah. most men in the world. Actually, yeah, yeah, that's uh, not not me, obviously. No, of course no, no, not you. No, 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 I, no, I have no. people do my googling for me. <laughs> Don't you talk about? Are you are thing? you are, are you very adventurous sexually with your um, husband? Then? You, you know, very... I've been married for a good amount of time, so I think right. the longer you're married, the more adventurous you have to get because you just think, you know. Yeah, you sound really convinced. Right. About it, right? <laughs> the more <laughs> adventurous I become, <laughs> it's uh, I'm living the dream. <laughs> about, you know, your life stretching on, you know, yeah, for yeah. the next 60 years with, you know, the, him on top and you on the bottom just right. starts to kind of get old. But we, tr like, we try different things and, you know, like some couples, they try to tape themselves having sex. Have you ever done that? Uh, no, 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 never have. Never I, to make those part. websites are a fabrication. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, twelve ninety five for a night in Ferguson. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. I, have, I have taped myself for having sex, but I was All the only person yourself. there. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like, who's my daddy? Who's yeah, my yeah, daddy? Yeah, right. Hang on, let me just fix it. It was like it was like the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> I was your nose running like that too. Oh God, I'm so scared. Yeah. I'm so scared right now <laughs> because I'm on my own. Yeah. <laughs> Just you think, taped yourself? Well, wait, you know, I just think, we thought it would be kind of sexy because you always think you're a very hot couple. You mm. know, you think you're the hottest couple in the world till you see yourself on tape. Right. <laughs> then it was just like rutting rhinos, just, you know. It was like Mutual Omaha's Wild Kingdom, is what I'm saying. It was just screaming and, ow, you're on my hair. It was very. <laughs> not hot at all. It was, it was very not hot. Right. We burned that immediately afterwards and then we didn't talk for like a week. The <laughs> like, hey, how's it going? All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, th I think the tape must still exist. You've got no, to think. Once it's on tape. I burned it and then I flushed it down the toilet and I took it back out and then I peed on it. Right. <laughs> well, listen, good luck up in, uh, <laughs> good luck in San Francisco. It's lovely to see you again. Aisha Tyler, everybody. We'll be right back with Harry Shearer. <laughs> Please welcome Aisha Tyler, everybody. Put your microphone on or else we'll never hear you. I gotta put my little that's, thing I can on. help you with it if you want, if you need any. That's just fine, thank you. That's all right, mm -hmm. you know. I've, I've, you know, I'm trained. <laughs> yes, you're, you're professional uh, creepy. Thing, Professionally yeah. creepy. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> how are I've you? I've been practicing for years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Welcome to the show, Aish. <laughs> how are you? I'm fantastic. Really? Yeah, I'm you really are, good. Actually, aren't you? Yes, uh, I am. <laughs> what about the uh, <laughs> two films coming out at the same time? Two movies coming out at the same time. Have you been working insane. very hard? You've been working very hard. I've been working so hard. I've been running around with a sandwich board and symbols for me to see my movies. Da, da, da. But yeah, two, two movies. It's <laughs> weird, but. Isn't it, Tat? All right, fine. The leg? The leg? Yeah. Yeah, have you ever seen that guy, that old-fashioned guy with, like, the harmonica and the symbols between his legs? No, where, where would I see this I guy? I don't know. In my head. Yeah, yeah. You made, you made him up. up. You I made him up. up. The yeah. guy who bangs the symbols <laughs> together. Ding, 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 ding. I have a hurt, there's a hurdy-gurdy. Yeah, yeah, I, it's all right. Well, well, you should take, have you taken a vacation or no? No, you know, I just got back from vacation. Really? I've been working so hard, I took some time off. But you know how celebrities, like, take these kind of, like, fancy, like, they go to St. Bart's or, you know, I don't know, Malaysia or Hawaii I, or whatever. I truly wouldn't know. Wouldn't know, yes. Yeah, no, I, I took
took I took a celebrity vacation this year uh, to the Jersey Shore, which nice. is rocking. Yeah, because yeah. that's how I do. Uh, squint, 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 squint. <laughs> Very fancy place I went to. <laughs> dee, 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 yeah. <laughs> And it's great because, you know, the Jersey Shore is not really fancy. You know what I mean? It's just like a kind of a family. My husband's family goes there every summer. Right. And it's great when you're there because um, nobody recognized me because why would Aisha Tyler be, you know, kicking it on the beach at Sea Isle, you know? So right. um, people would walk, literally this girl came up to me in the store and she was like, <gasps> <laughs> and then she walked away. I was like, wait, it's me. Don't yeah. you? Yeah. Well, maybe she thought you were someone else. She she might have. Yeah, but, I, I, I get it all the time. People come up and go, well, you're that guy. Oh, no, you're not. No, 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 yeah, no. Yes, get my car. Yeah, yeah, yeah so that it was, fun. But it was fun, and I kicked it on the beach. I'll tell you what's great about going what, to the, to the Jersey Shore. Me, just a second. Just a second. What does kicking it on the beach actually mean? Oh, uh, I don't know. I just thought it would sound cool. Yeah, you thought it would sound cool. My people say that stuff. I, well, I look kicking it up on, it on the, the beach. I don't know what kicking it on the beach really means. I was, you know, sitting sitting on the beach. Kicking, kicking it, kicking it, just laying, you know, laying yeah, back, banging your little yeah, cymbals banging together. my cymbals yeah, together. Right, yeah. And uh, what's great about going to the Jersey Shore is that you're you're uh, the hottest girl on the beach by far, because it's all like <laughs> like ninety year old ladies with like swim skirts on, like the hat with a little flower on the side. Get me there. Um, but you'll see sometimes <laughs> you'll sometimes see guys walking down the beach, you'll be walking down the beach, and uh, and you'll be like, man, that girl is stacked, and it'll be like you know a, guy. a dude, totally, yeah. it's awesome. Yeah. I'm like, it's kind of sad when there's guys on the beach that are like hotter than you. Yeah. I mean, well, not hotter, but bigger is what I'm saying. You know, I it's a, it's the bait. I worry about having the he hooters. Do you I, the yeah, he hooters? I do, yeah, the man boobs. You're, yeah, you're, I, you're I, the man boobs? I, it haunts me in quiet moments when I turn over in bed at night. I think, oh, did they just flap? <laughs> That, have, I, have, they, have they arrived? Because you don't want, you don't want no, to know. No, I mean, you know, I, I think everybody likes boobs generally. I mean, oh, I think, sure. Who doesn't like boobs? I mean, boobs. Co communists. You that's know, exactly. Communists. I, yeah. think, I think we could all agree that boobs are a party. I think we yeah, could agree I, on that. Yeah. 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 Um, boobs, but, yeah. you know, you would just, you'd like to keep it on one side, you know, not both sides of the bed, you know, and then it's just, then there's just a fight. You know what I mean? Yeah. Over who's like, you know, more fabulous. Well, I don't know. I mean, there's certain situations where two sets of boobies is all, that's okay. <laughs> Gertie in your head. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yes, that's exactly. just a little add some, play. Add some a... knee symbols and yeah, then, yeah. you know. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, you, you know, well, maybe do knee symbols. Knee yeah, symbols. yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> That'd be all right. So you went to the Jersey Shore and you... And, uh, yeah. What, what part out. of the Jersey... Like the Atlantic City? Like right near Atlantic City, yeah. I've been yeah. to Atlantic City. I Have like you? It. You yeah. gamble? Yeah. If, no, I don't gamble at all. No? I'm Scottish. You know? Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. like if, if someone, you know, the, the you deal is... Your you know, we I give you money and you might give me some back. <laughs> Maybe. No, yeah. that's... Uh, <laughs> City is kind of like the like the kind of ugly old stepchild of, of Vegas, which is like I don't think that's no. fair. I, no, I think Atlantic City's rather nice, except there's just a lot of buildings that have got Trump written on them, which kind of puts me off. Yeah, yeah, he writes his name on everything. He He's does. like a three-year-old with a marker pen. He wrote pen. it on the side. <laughs> side of my car the other day, which yeah, is yeah, kind of rude, good. I thought. That's yeah. mine. That's mine. <laughs> We're surprised you do that. Why do, do you write your name on stuff? Uh, She's just like, Tyler. No, no. You know, I, I'm, I'm humble. I take it easy. I'm, Are you yeah, humble? Exactly. Really? I mean, I, have a, I, I wrote it on my husband's ass, but that was just, that was in private. That wasn't, that wasn't for anybody to see. I was what, like, uh, mine, Tyler. Well, <laughs> you know, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> what about what writing implement did you write on your uh, husband's ass with? Sharpie. That's, really? We, I think. As you should all, use a, a bluntie. Oh mm -hmm. yes, but yeah. as all college students know, the only writing implement that you use on human skin is the sharpie. Did you ever it's get impossible to erase? Did you ever get drunk, so drunk that people drew glasses on you with a sharpie no. when you were asleep? But I did date. I, I did go out the guy in college once who fell asleep drunk I, I, in my house, and my friends wrote all over his face with like Trump. Lo "loser," yeah. yeah, Trump. Yes, exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. Tyler. <laughs> And, uh, and uh, yeah, <laughs> and then, you know, I hated to do it because he was in a vulnerable place, but you can't go out with a guy that's, you know, got you can't go, go with writing that, but... on his face. Now, no, a guy with writing not... on his face, it's usually a giveaway. Yeah, yeah. pretty much like... Well, he's cute, but he's got writing on his face. <laughs> yeah. He's, 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 he's cute, but, you know, when he's in the mirror, he's reading himself, which yeah, is not a good yeah, thing. Yeah. It's not a good thing. Yeah. We have to take a break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back with Aisha Tyler, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. 
I'm here with the lovely once, twice, three times lady, Aisha Tyler. Thank you. Well, I just thought it'd be the nice. The serenade. You know what the kids would call that? What? Fly. Fly? Mm -hmm. Really? I don't... Uh, and if it was 1986, that's what they would call it, yeah. Yeah, fly. <laughs> I'm behind on my newsletters. Yeah, boy, it's the... Uh, are you here now? Are you living in L.A. now? I do. I live here, yeah. Really? I have travel you... all the time for work, but I'm here most of the time. Do you, do you, have you embraced the L.A. lifestyle? Do you, are you microbiotic? Um, I don't even know what that means. No, yeah. I, I like, thought microbiotic there's, there's meant someone who was that. very, very small. <laughs> <laughs> there's an ointment, I'm sure. Yeah. No, I'm not. You know, I try to eat really well when I'm at home, but you travel right. so much and you really can't get good food. And, and then, like, also, like, if I'm working a lot and I'm traveling, I forget to eat. And you ever had the thing oh, where you... Oh, stop. You oh, forget I, to I eat? I forget to eat. I, who not, forgets to eat? Well, you, get, you get crazy. It's not like you forget. It's like you can't get to the food, you know, like you're I can always get to the food. <laughs> I have to feed the he hooters. <laughs> feed them. Feed them. Feed us. We must stay alive. She's bigger than me. I yeah. need to put on weight. Um, but, uh, but yeah, and so sometimes I'll get so hungry and then like I'll just eat the first thing that's in front of me, which is usually like a cookie. And I, the other day I was so hungry. I was, I hadn't eaten in hours. I ate a brownie so fast. It was confused. It was like, what happened? Oh God, I was out there and I'm in here. Oh God. I eat fast, very fast. Just two bites, just chocolate crumbs and, and, and sadness afterwards. Well, no. <laughs> I do. do, if, do I, if I don't eat, like, if I eat sugar, yeah. and but don't eat anything before the sugar, right. crack. I go, I, oh, man, crack. It's crazy. I totally. Just go crazy. And I'm, I'm like, not, I don't really like, I'm not a big, I mean, I'm not like really that Hollywood, you know, because I like don't do drugs or drink or like drive around with, you know, my bra off and run, chase get, people, chase people down Wilshire Boulevard. I'm I, like, I, yeah. I guess I'm not Hollywood no, either. Then, no, no, you know? exactly. I mean, I feel, Apart from the bra, do, I do the bra thing. Don't you feel left out? Like you need to fall asleep in a car, uh, you know, I'm like, uh, I, like no. I haven't done that. Yet. You know um, what I feel for those kids because I see them like you know that Lindsay Lohan and stuff yeah. like that like tw she's like twenty or something yeah uh, twenty one and she's lying like uh, uh, in her car and I'm thinking my God if there were cameras around Absolutely. when I was that age oh my seriously God. I mean yeah. it seems really dramatic and scary but as we know that was college pretty much every day in college we just didn't have anybody taking pictures of yeah, us yeah it's, it's, that's uh, the great thing about college is you can pass out and drool I, on I yourself never, I never even went to college I just went straight to blackout drinking excellent yeah. nice. <laughs> What the hell is that? Wow, look Isn't at that. That's good. I, what I, is that? Is there like, is that an iPod? I took it off of. <laughs> the hell is that? Look at that thing. And then wow. I, I took it off of Lindsay Lohan when she's passed out in her car. Wow. <laughs> that's like a real bond she was like, uh, like, I was like, and thank you, Lindsay. Um, but no, it's, uh, it's, um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 I don't know what it is. I don't even know I, what it's I, made I out of. I like it. Can but actually, when you it? wake it, it tastes like grapes. So it's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> you ever had that when you were a kid? What, what, the, I, little, the little candy ring? I, You've been so deprived. I grew up in Scotland. We just, you know, there's your potato. Exactly. <laughs> your potato that, on, a, that's on, a your, stick, yeah, on a stick. That, on a stick. That's your Christmas and your Christmas dinner. <laughs> Yeah, that's that, cold. No, it's suffered. all right. Yeah, no, no, I, I really like that. It kind of Thank looks you. like it's, it would fire out a laser beam or something. Yes, or, or maybe open it and there'd be like a little gun. Pew, pew. This is the Hollywood thing. You know, you have to dress up and be fancy and wear the rings and stuff really? like that. I, when I leave here, you're not going to recognize me. I'm going to look like a man. I'm going to take all this off and be like, RuPaul, come back. I'm not, I'm like. <laughs> I don't think that's true. But it's always lovely to see you. Aisha Tyler, everybody. We'll be right back. Anyway, my next guest will be performing uh, April the 4th at the Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. I've been there. It's marvellous. Please welcome the beautiful Aisha Tyler, everybody. Spectacular with oh, your jangly you. like, shorts and everything. <laughs> with my crazy, meaningless outfit of tricks. I, yes. don't, I don't know. I think I like? think it's spectacular. Thank you. Thank Are they you. what the kids call uh, bloomers? Yes, or or, or maybe knickers. knickers. I don't know. But then sometimes people don't understand you. It starts a fight, you know. So it's better to it call them bloomers. A fight? Yes. What you call me? You know, and then it's like. Oh. Well, see. So bloomers is a better. Right? No, no, no. Bloomers is the way to. Yeah. I think yeah. that guy just called me bloomer pants. You know, yeah, so no, it's just better. No, that's, yeah. I like this thing as well. It's Thank kind of you. metallic. It's like you're like a sexy robot. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Maybe later we can dance a little bit. Oh, no, you did. Oh, no, 
Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about going to the Mohegan Sun. I've been there. It's... I've never been there. I'm so excited. Oh, it's it's fantastic. It's the biggest. Pl it's bigger than Belgium. Oh well, that's. <laughs> Exciting and a little upsetting. Yeah, no, it's it doesn't rain as much as it does okay, in Belgium, good. so you'll be all right. Or the, but they, or the dour Belgies. No, no, the, no, Connecticuties. People that <laughs> yes. live in Connecticut, they just they love to laugh. You can tell he's an American now because he's got all of our terms down. Connecticuties. Connecticuties. Yeah. <laughs> they, what they do is that when they're laughing, they take out their pipes and they go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> then they turn She's wearing some... bloomers, you know. <laughs> 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 they pop a collar, churn some butter. It's yeah. all good. Yeah. I, I, I'm excited. I, no, I've done stand up there. Yeah. yeah. You and I actually, oddly, I feel like we're following each other because. I'm following you, sir. Well, yeah. for sure. <laughs> Yeah. We were in Tempe at the same time. Tempe, Arizona. Tempe, Arizona, and then uh, and then we we were both at Tommy T's in Pleasanton. I think like one right after the other. Wow, yeah. Tommy T's in Pleasanton is yeah. one of the most interesting gigs a stand-up comedian oh, can do nice in America. That's a nice way of putting it. Absolutely. Steak and comedy. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And, it, and it's like an old sizzler or something. So you're like performing to a salad bar. You know. Yeah, what yeah. I mean? <laughs> People are like, these shrimp are great. There's a black lady yelling. What's yeah. happening? <laughs> I don't understand. But can you, you know. Get me I'm like, no, I, I don't work here. It's but. really, you know you're doing well, though, when they put you next to the sneeze guard. Oh, that's, yeah, whoa. That's exactly. Yeah, that's it. You can do jokes, but no spitting in the olives. But so. Have you ever met Tommy that runs Tommy I T's? I have met Tommy, Mr. Yeah, Tommy T. Well, I don't know how he treats the guys, but he pulled up, he picked me up to go uh, do some, you know, you go out, um, when you're doing a stand-up show, you'll get up in the morning and do much radio. Right. So uh, he came to pick me up in his Porsche. And uh, yeah, I was like, oh, he's giving me the, I think everybody else he picks up in like, you know, a wheelbarrow. He didn't pick me up. He just pushes <laughs> <laughs> no, he just he emailed me the address. Get there or you die. Exactly. Yeah. Craig, I think Craig Ferguson's standing on the corner with a bus pass right yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> I got a rat in the Porsche. Yeah, yeah. Then everyone's like, honestly, is that your boyfriend? I was like, oh, no, no. Yeah. He's a lovely man and very good looking, but, you know, not my type. Really? What did, well, you've been married now for I've been married 100 for a, years. 100 years, yeah. I have been. I married my college sweetheart. Yeah, That is I know. adorable. Isn't that nice? Yeah. That's lovely. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. He's a really sweet... You know when you've been, well, when you've been with someone for a long time... Right. I, um, I've, I've never had never, that experience. Never had that experience. Craig's yeah. <laughs> like, every night's a first date to me, darling. Um, <laughs> he's, he, and you're like a rock star. You're like that one in the back. You get yeah. a pass, you know? Um, but, uh, but Sure. <laughs> That's right. That now, now you know me. <laughs> I think very highly of your personal life. Right. I have to because I have to be vicarious. Um, no, when you've been married for a long time, you you kind of like I travel a lot for work. My husband comes with me on some of these shows. He comes, right. and that's nice because you stay in a nice hotel and everything. But when you've been in a couple for a while, um, you don't really want to have sex at home that much, you know, because it's Wednesday and Top Chef is on. You know, you're like, ah, you Top Chef, I don't know, but. <laughs> You know, but 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 when you're in a hotel, I don't know if you've noticed this. You get in a hotel, especially if you've been in a couple for a while. You you have to have like the crazy, dirty hotel sex. Does anybody? Yeah. Absolutely. Right? You know what I mean? Like at, yeah, like at home, you're like, ah, eh, stop poking at me. In a hotel, you're like, how can I get my DNA on every surface in this room? I'm that's, like, that, that's what I'm like. I am filthy in hotels, and I'm on my own. There's nobody with me. I'm just like, oh, 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 put my, my daddy. Hand, put my hand. <laughs> I think we might have been next to each other in a hotel at some point. That I was would like, be oh, fun. this guy's disgusting. Well, that's, that's the, if you hear people in the other room having sex, you have to listen for, you know, oh, two voices. Uh, if it's yes. just one voice, that's... It's a little alarming. Or, or one like, voice on Larry King. <laughs> that's, that's but do you, do, you, do you ever notice that, like, if, I'm in a, if you're in a hotel and you hear people having sex, like, normally that would be repulsive, but somehow in a hotel you're like, ah, ha, 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 I wonder what position they're doing, ah. Screams like a girl. You know, it's always nice to listen in. Position? I don't know. Do people, do you only know one position? One, yeah. yeah. <laughs> one, sexy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get into the sexy position. Hey! It's over. Please! <laughs> Perched on the end of the couch while you're Are you very King. sexually adventurous? Is that uh, what keeps your marriage alive? Are you. Well, I mean, you, I think you have to be somewhat adventurous if you've been with someone for a long time because, you know, you just think, oh, you on the top, me on the bottom, rest of my life, woo! You know, yeah. so um, sometimes you gotta fly, but I'm not like a crazy person. You don't do the gag the, ball or no, anything like that. No, no, I'm not you? a big, a little, a, a little, a little spanking every once in a while. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. I mean, but, my husband likes it when I spank him, you yeah. know, so. Um, so you know, that, 
but you know, it's it's interesting because you can't get too filthy when you're married. Or because, on the show. Or on the show. Yeah. Although you dig with your potty mouth, uh, you crazy Scotsman. But um, you can't get too dirty because he still has to see that person in the morning. You know what yeah. I mean? And then you get up for breakfast, you're like, hey, how's it going? All right. Uh, <laughs> some errands if you could be gone when I get home that would be great you know so you can't get too disgusting right yeah so yeah. Only, you're only you can really be disgusting right and you can't you can't sneak up on a person either like if you're having sex with somebody not legally that would be wrong like, <laughs> to discuss it you know you can't just like try some new stuff on somebody you know when they're used to kind of you know you move in a certain way all of a sudden you're like what you know you can't what was that who put that there you know you have to maybe someone left the window about. open yeah <laughs> you gotta talk about it first which is you know uh, uh, that, uh, we, we can't broadcast any of this no, conversation no, the flamenco the show is gonna be that'll over. be it yeah. that'll be. it's always a delight I to see love you coming here. i adore you I come adore back you in. anytime well, have fun at the mohegan sun thank you i can't wait all right go uh, and do it aisha tyler everybody we'll be right back the lovely aisha tyler everybody Thank I you. love what the gold and the things are looking. It's fantastic. I thought that after that clip about me talking about poop, it might be nice to come out looking like a girl. You know, just uh, you look like a girl in a the clip. You were just talking cleanser. about about <laughs> poop. Does spinach really do that? No, oh. it does not. No, it does nothing for you. It's All just right. like a. It just it's decorative. It does nothing. It just sits there. No, I think spinach is good for you. I think it's yeah. a healthy source of iron and other. Does spinach advertise on CBS? <laughs> 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 I don't know. Does spinach have a, a governing body? I don't. I'm sorry to ask you. Everything else does in this country. Yeah, I'm sure. You yeah. know what? I bet you I hear tomorrow from a bunch of people who are like, "How dare you? Oh, spinach is." Internet is full of yeah. hey. How dare you malign smoking? How dare you? Cigarettes have yeah. feelings. Yeah. Well, how You're dare a... you shoot cats? Yeah. Who do you think you are shooting cats? I never shoot cats. We're the we're the kitten lobby. Yeah. We're the kitten lobby, and now we're making tiny bulletproof vests for the kittens no, because no, of you. I, I would that be so cute though. Oh, little little felt pull. I do like putting clothes on animals. Yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, you know I do. Right? I have, would you ever put clothes on like a, like if someone said, "Look, here's uh, 500 bucks. Uh -huh. Go and try and put this jacket on that grizzly bear." Would you do it? <laughs> if the grizzly bear was slightly sedated. If he was mildly sedated yeah. and I could like sneak up behind him? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I do. I just try? just for the story, right? Just be like, and then I wrestle the sweater on a grizzly bear, bitch. Yeah. Bam, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know though, because uh, well, how sedated? Well, I, I feel like uh, like an ambient in a cup of tea. Uh, yes, yeah, yes, right. like my husband on a Friday night, like well, that. Yeah. I don't know if you could get a bear to drink tea though. Um, no. Maybe an English bear, but an American bear is like, no, I want a coffee. You could get yeah. an American bear to drink a couple light beers though. Yeah. Easy, easy. Have you ever seen a live bear in the flesh? Uh, yes, I have many times. Really? I'm a, I'm a big camper, and I've seen them in the wild. Really? Yes. Aren't you frightened of bears? No, because I'm giant and brown, and they love me. <laughs> Look at me. They just go hello. No, baby. I think you're you're adorable. <laughs> you're very attractive, but you know. American bears are afraid of people generally. Grizzlies are what we're afraid of. Like right. they don't live in the lower 48. They live in like I don't know up with the people. Alaska. Yeah. Up there with the with the, the very. With pale, the people who are a very pale. valuable market. <laughs> The pale people with their donuts up there above right. the border, but um, the ones down here, they're, they're, they, they look scary, but you yell at them and they run. So one day uh, we were camping, we woke up and there was there were two bears right outside our, our uh, tent, uh, and and uh, we and we just banged, uh, you know, beer bottles together. Just before the bears yes. arrived, <laughs> or, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And then, and then, Rrr, what are these people doing in that tent? <laughs> I don't know. People Jenga. I must insert myself into the people Jenga. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, yeah, and they've just run away. They're adorable. No, yeah. I, I think you've just been lucky. If you startle a mother and there's a baby, she will rip you limb from limb and eat your entrails like jujubes. And but, bears uh, will do that too. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Episode of The Walking Dead. No, oh. yeah, absolutely. Have, have you watched The Walking I Dead? I am in love with The Walking Dead. Uh, I can't stop thinking about it. In fact, I looked at Jeff and his necklace looks like an ear necklace, like Daryl's ear necklace. <laughs> Has anybody watched this show? Doesn't it look a little bit like Daryl's ear necklace? I think many people who are in the audience tonight are actually participating in that show. <laughs> <laughs> do you watch? Do you watch?
watch The Walking Dead? No, I, I haven't seen uh, it because it's one of those shows that I want to save up and then watch. Yes, it's Do you know so what I mean? Great. Because I've, I've heard so much about it. Uh, but it's the you kind of like the things I like, right? Yeah. You like Doctor Who and you like... I, I, yes, and your lovely TARDIS. TARDIS, TARDIS What's yeah. inside the TARDIS? Yeah, I've got a little Some haggis kind of stuck terrible in there. Yeah, loaf of meat. No, no, it's a haggis. They're, they're actually an American because haggis will not... on top of this, it'll push it right out. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to need a little more than spinach to get that moving. That's haggis, but it's uh, vegetarian haggis. Vegeta that makes no sense. You know, the, 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 things like vegetarian ha haggis and tofurkey are where other countries hate us. Do you see what I'm saying? This is not American. This is a Scottish well, haggis made the, of Scottish vegetables. Other countries the only vegetables they had. They have no <laughs> we had one potato and a mushroom. We used a potato, a mushroom, and some spinach <laughs> left over from an American tourist. <laughs> And there's actually some meat in it because yeah. we're Scottish. And, but this is a TARDIS. Uh, a lovely which, TARDIS, yeah. yeah. It's not an actual real No, one. but you know what? One can dream. A boy do, can dream. Do you uh, do you, you watch Doctor Who? I'm not, as, I'm not as encyclopedic about Doctor Who as I'd like to be, uh, but, uh, you know, my nerdery, it, it, it varies. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I like Doctor Who. I like I like video games and uh, and The Walking Dead. I love comic books, but I haven't watched all of the Doctor Who. Do you, uh, do you uh, watch the, um, what do you call it? What's that thing with the... The television? Uh, yeah, yeah. The, and it's got the buttons on it. And you and push them. You push the porn. buttons and then... Uh, porn. Yeah, okay. porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't watch porn, no, do you? No, no. I've seen it before. It's upsetting. We uh, can move on. Uh, you, and <laughs> I, I, every time I've watched porn, and it's not been often, you'd be surprised. Every time I've seen it, I think, are, you, are you meant to see it that close? I don't think you're meant to see it that close. <laughs> Do want them to do kind of like a Barbara Walters treatment on this <laughs> Vaseline? Barbara thing. Walters porn, I'd pay to see that. Oh, it burns, no, it burns. No. Everything yeah. is burning. No, that's some um, hot older lady action oh, right there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I would never watch Barbara Walters porn. Oh. <laughs> Everybody would have to turn it off. Well, Kind of a yeah, little bit. No, I don't. Think Barbara's very class. Now, how are you talking of classy ladies? Classy how are things doing on the uh, on the talk? Fabulous. There? It's yeah? fabulous. Yes. Yeah. I've only been there about a month, uh, and it's it's hard because uh, you go in uh, like to a team that's already. It's like joining people Jenga. It's it like being like late for a uh, for group sex. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And like you know, I, I, my, is this my chair? And how, how do you like to be touched? Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Can I just ask you who amongst your co-hosts likes to be touched like this? <laughs> Clearly it's Sharon. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's... Clearly it's Sharon. Um, but, you know, it, what, it, what was wonderful about it was I went and I guest hosted for a week and it just felt like home right away. And the women right. get along. So, and it's five women and you wouldn't think we get along as well as we do. Like, it's just a love. Was there a women. hazing process? Did they hurt you in some way? Uh, uh, well, there, yes. A uh, little bit of spanking, but I deserved right. it. And, uh, no, it's been wonderful. You know, I think, I think this is, a, you know how it is making TV every day. It's this moving train and it's going so fast. And, and everybody has just been incredibly welcoming and supportive. And it's a blast. It's a blast to do. I I, uh, I have a day job, which uh, you know yeah, I don't think I'd no, ever have again. Uh, but I love I, it. I, I'd quite fancy something like that. Right during yeah. the oh yeah, I have a day job. Uh, we're out of time, so you oh, want no. a mouth organ? Um, a mouth organ? Yeah, it's a it's a thing you blow. That's what you Europeans call it. We call it a harmonica here in the good old U.S. of A. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> now that you're an American, I'm an American, and I still call it a mouth organ, <laughs> and you know why. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just saying I would. <laughs> Do you want uh, to go for the big cash prize then? I think I'd like to go for the gig, big cash prize. The gig cash prize? The gig cash prize. Uh, all right then, we're going with What time is it, Shadow Stevens? It's time for the big cash prize. Here's what happens, Aisha. Here's what happens here. I will ask you one question. If you get that question correct, you win 50 United States dollars in singles, except at any strip club in this uh, lower 48. Oh, thank God for that. All right. Did you ever go to strip clubs? I Once, yes. Really? Uh, I was doing stand-up with, uh, with uh, Pauly Shore in Reno. Classy lady! And, uh, and he wanted to go to a strip club, and we went. And it's great to be a straight girl in a strip club because all the girls love you because they know you're going to hit on them. So I was just surrounded by women. I was like, look at all this bitch. I got and uh, <laughs> and uh, it was good. it was great and we just like talked and had drinks and it was a and I was like you guys are such good dancers are you going to medical school with the money you're making you know it was lovely it was why, really sweet why was Paulie Shore there and I'm not there <laughs> the hell <laughs> all right one question I'm all right okay all right all right all right <gasps> mm -hmm. now you got me excited when you did that. <laughs> 
All right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its yes. capital city is Reykjavik. Mm -hmm. Within 10,000, how many hairs are on the average person's scalp? Within 10,000. Oh, cute death. Within 10,000. Wait, wait, why would you choke me? I don't know. They're, those two things are not related, and I feel confused now. Well, I like to see the Iceland thing because, you know, it sets the scene. You did know? you know that uh, Iceland is green and Greenland is icy? I did know that. And I'll tell you what else. Did you know that Bjork is from Iceland and uh, that everyone else from Iceland, they're all uh, descended from five uh, people? And that's... <laughs> I did know that. And Bjork is the only one to make it out with ten fingers and ten toes. No, no, no. <laughs> Bjork and then the band Sigur Rós. But oh, you know yes, the Sigur band Sigur Rós from Iceland are actually not really people? Are they like the, are they like the, they the from gorillas? Underground. No, they're from underground. They're pixie folk. <laughs> <laughs> and they got their lead singer is Uh-huh. He lives in a volcano. <laughs> and their drummer, Punsi? Punsi? Lives in a shoe. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Did you also know that the, Ice, that the Iceland people eat pony? They do eat, they eat ponies. ponies. They, they eat don't ponies. eat ponies. They eat ponies. <laughs> Hi, have you ever, have you ever, have you ever uh, tasted horse flesh? <laughs> <laughs> Not knowingly. <laughs> All right. Within ten thousand, how many hairs on the human head? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, you still want to do this? I All right. Know. All right, we'll do it. How many? Give uh, me you, a different question. Do you want a different question? question? Yes. All right, then. All right. It was 10,000, by the way. Uh, mm, yeah. <laughs> Iceland is in the North Atlantic. <laughs> its capital city is Reykjavik. Reykjavik. Which television network in 1963 was the first to use instant replay at a sporting event? Oh, mm. NBC. Close. No. There's a B in it. There's a B in it. CBS. Yes. Yes, it is. CBS at the Army Navy football game. Yeah. 50 American yeah. dollars. Yeah. Aisha Tyler, everybody. We'll be right back. Yeah. Aisha Tyler, everybody. Aisha! Yes! You look great! Thank you goodness. very were, were you, much. Were you wearing a robe or a cape? I was, there is a filthy hobo's robe hanging back there uh, that I'm sure someone on your staff has had sex in. Um, but I was cold. I was cold. I would have wrapped another human around. Yes, I would have wrapped another human around my body if I could have. And I wore it right till. And then I just thought I'd do a James Brown. But like a hobo James Brown, which is what I did. Yes. Are you? Why were you doing it? Because just be, <coughs> I was talking with your lovely staff, and they said. And you, you were. And you're cold, clearly. And I'm freezing cold. Yeah, yeah. It's very, but it's the whole country. All five of my nipples are completely. Yeah. Cold. Yes. Secretariat knows what I'm talking about. Yes. Wow, yes, that, that that's a bit of a confession, isn't it? <laughs> really? Uh, front end or back end? Oh, uh, they're all running down the. Floor. No, I meant Secretariat. <laughs> <coughs> How are you, girl? I'm good. Yeah, I'm yeah, you good. look, you yeah. look sensational. Thank you. Thank what you. What are you up to? Are you doing spinning? Uh, no, I am not. I did doing... my first spinning class today. Now, did you like it, or were you humiliated by this kind of fake bicycling experience? Kind of both. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah I, I liked it, but I, but I like being humiliated. Yeah, clearly, see? obviously. Yeah. Give you a spanking at the end of the of the class. Yes. Yes. That would that... be all right. I have a spin bike <clears throat> in my house. Oh. But I don't think I like. I don't want to work out with other people because I don't like people except for like you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like I don't push myself hard. Like when you go to the spin class, yeah, you're like, you oh, when you're climbing you a hill, and in my you know gym at home, I'm like, ooh, Vampire Diaries is on, you know. So that's not, you, you know. Watch Vampire Diaries? Oh, I watch like the the trashiest, like all the CW like teenage shows, and really? I, I have like age inappropriate sexual fantasies about people who could be my my child. Yeah, it's totally, <laughs> totally. I Hold mean, they're 18. I'm not yeah. disgusting. Just creepy. It's different. <laughs> I'm going to put you... Are you in therapy at all? No, no. Oh, can I go into therapy yeah, with you? Yeah, absolutely. I've okay. got my pipe. That means we're going into therapy. Oh, exciting. Either that or you're going to solve a crime. 
I'm solving the crime of your neurosis. <laughs> yeah. oh. right. Tell me about myself. Yes. Well, let's see. You're sexually attracted to 18-year-old uh, boys. Is that well, right? Well... Or girls. Uh, say girls. That's good girl, for me. Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I need to get the pipe and shrink you. Yeah, so you're, well, attracted, you're attracted to me, attracted to 18-year-old girls. Well, in a way, yes. <laughs> uh. In all of the ways, Chris. Are you still, uh, are you still going out doing the stand-up, even yeah, though you're doing every, all that stuff? Every weekend. I, I, I toured all year. My last date was actually in Toronto, in Toronto, Canada. Yeah, really? just my, that was my last live date. No, maybe I had one more after that, but that was one of my last live dates was in the... Where did you play in Toronto? Oh, uh, there's like a theater there, like uh, some big, like, converted movie theater. Yeah, they've got a theater there, They've I'm got sure. a theater. Yeah. I mean, the Canadians don't have a lot, but they've Yo, got they a got, they got a whole lot going I on right now. I love Toronto. I love crackhead Toronto Mayor Rob Ford. Yeah. I love him so much. Well, you know, he I is. love him. He is kind of the gift to the late night comedian he at this is, point. And yeah. His his testicles drag on the ground. He is so ballsy. This is a man who has been caught on camera smoking crack cocaine multiple. Don't you feel like they're the first time he's like, ah, smoke in the garage? No. In the street, drunk, and also he's the worst crackhead ever. I mean, crackheads are supposed to be skinny. You don't yeah, yeah, just sprinkle it on a you don't well, sprinkle it thing. on a pizza. What are you doing? You're doing but, it wrong. But here's the thing. I, if you were up in Canada, you know those Canadians are kind of like, oh, that's who he is. I know. They're, they don't care. No, I'll tell you what it is. The Canadians are sick of the rest of the world thinking that they're boring. You know, we are like, oh, Canada, they're so sweet and they're polite with their maple and their donuts and their <laughs> floppy ham, you know. They're their floppy. Floppy toothsome oh, oh, ham, yeah, yeah, ham that, yeah, that they yeah. call bacon. And they were like, you know... <laughs> They were like, America's got a skinny black crackhead mayor. We're going to raise you that skinny black crackhead mayor and get a fat white crackhead mayor. Fat white mayor. crackhead mayor, yeah. Yes. That's good. Way to show some gumption, Canada. I, I'm very good. Yeah, yes. good for you, Canada. Yes. Well done. <laughs> Hey. Way to be American, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, the uh, Kardashians? You, uh, you're having a go there. I oh. never talk uh, smack about the Kardashians oh, no? here. No, oh, you're no, leaving the... a, a gold mine untapped. No, no. I, I'm, I'm getting a little bored with them, to be honest. Well, I... it's interesting. I don't, I don't find them kind of compelling. Like I don't like. They apparently put out like a Christmas card today, and everyone's like, Have you I seen? never, I never got one. Well, yeah, it's. <laughs> They're saving, like, saving a better, bigger, better prince, and for you, Kanye's gonna come out, like, naked on a motorcycle or something. <laughs> um, I, I just want the card. The card is fine. <laughs> yeah, I, okay, yeah, okay yeah. I'll let them yeah. know. But um, I didn't know about it because I don't really follow them, but we talk about them on the talk because people do follow them. And right. I, you know, I, I have, I'm friendly with Kanye. I was on the board of his, he had a charity foundation that was focused on bringing music into schools and right. helping kids learn. He's a very talented he, man. He is, yeah. but he's abandoned all of that in, in favor of being the straight black Liberace. And I don't <laughs> understand what's happening. Hang on a second, will you? Uh, just, it's, just a, it's just a thing I have to do. Hold on a second. The views expressed by Aisha Tyler <laughs> in no way reflect my views or the views of the great CBS corporation. I, I, I really, I respect him as an artist, and I also, I like his ambition, but I just feel like he should um, get, like, a smartphone and then say everything he's going to say publicly into the phone and then just listen back. <laughs> You know, just for a moment. Do you ever, do you ever do that yourself? Because you're on the tweety and the thing. You ever, I you do. ever tweet something and then you go, "Why? Uh, Why did I do it?" I, I have a rule. There's no, there is no drunk tweeting in my house. Do you get, do you get drunk a lot? Uh, no. Well, uh, not uh, as quite, far as you hang know. On a second. So let's talk about your alcohol. Bro. <laughs> I, I, I. You I'm get drunk and hang out with 18-year-old girls. I do. Yeah. And, okay. then, and then we tweet together like, oh. "OMG, LOL." Um, no, I just, I, you know, years ago I tweeted something I wasn't really proud of on the night that we killed Osama bin Laden. I felt like I was a little kind of drunk and jingoistic and I did like an America, you know, you know, bump yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't do anything. I was watching, I was playing Xbox and then he was dead. What did I do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, but, I, but now, you know, some, do you ever have somebody tweet you and they make you so angry that you find yourself going for the, no, no, no don't you mustn't, write No, you mustn't, it. no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, and I, sometimes I just Block them, it. just block them. I need to do more of yeah, that. Yeah, just block. When I, get, I sometimes block just in the slightest hint of negativity. Right. Like if someone says, it was a bit cold where I live, boom, yeah. yeah. Yes. I don't care for fried I, eggs. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. To, yeah, I bid you adieu, sir. Like sometimes people write stuff and you know they're, 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 they intend to agitate you and they just can't help it. So I'm trying not to get into fights with people on the internet and, uh, you know. I don't know. I don't I know if the internet's a good idea. punch them in the neck. Yeah, the, I, the whole internet thing's going away, though. Oh, you think the internet's yeah, a bad? Yeah, it's a flash it's in the pan. Yeah. It's going away. You're adorable, Gramps. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> we'll be right back with Aisha Tyler. <laughs> Exactly. We're, we're, we're back. Hey! <laughs> we weren't talking about anything indelicate there. <laughs> so, do you play golf? Uh, no. Neither I, do I. I, I, have, I do actually a bit now. I have been, I, I once went, there's like a three hole. Have you ever played that like the, uh, it's the nine hole little par three chip and putt over by the park, over by the highway and. Uh, Is this a crack? No! Yeah. I was playing golf with crackhead Toronto Mayor Rockford. Yeah, yeah. And then he had a heart attack. No, um, so there's, I got a hole in one. I got a hole in one wow. at that course. Yes. And then I decided that I should hang it up. I would never do better than that. So I have not, I've never played Is, golf Was this uh, miniature golf? Because that doesn't count no. as golf. It was like, it was you got like a, a hole in one? It was like a 90, like a 90 uh, uh, yard par three. And you got a hole in one? And I got a one? hole in one, yeah. No. Yeah, with like my five iron. And then I was no. like, I'm hanging it up. It was exciting enough that a black woman was playing golf in the first place. Well. And then she got a hole in one, and I was like, I'm like a unicorn. I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, are you playing now? This is the sport of your people. I know, I just golf? took it up. I, I never played it my whole life, and now I just started playing yeah. it. I'm very bad at it. I'm a disgrace to Scotland. Well, and I'm bad at golf. <laughs> yeah. In addition, yeah. I just feel like the Scots have invented uh, golf. and Television? Uh, Tell really television mm -hmm. and odd meat Telefo products. telephones telephones mm -hmm. oh come on now the internet Alex? the internet yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. jets, jets. <laughs> yeah yeah we've got a plane for you that was my sky wow no, i'm not an impression i had a weird thing happen there i thought i was in scotland <laughs> talking to someone who wasn't from scotland no no, no, I, oh. no that well, no i'm not that, a, i'm not an impressionist no Clearly, that, that's no. very good no that i know that about myself yeah yes well <laughs> self-aware you know you are self-aware aren't I you am. Yeah, i am yeah. i do i do have All a right. sense of, of are you yeah. in therapy really no 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 come um, on now i don't want to stereotype my people but uh therapies i mean i feel like maybe spike lee goes to therapy but the rest of us not so much how can you be sure that Spike i'm sure Lee oprah goes to therapy too right well yeah but she tells the therapist what to say right. yeah. <laughs> i'm awesome uh, um no I, I i should go to therapy probably uh i'm just not that curious about myself <laughs> I'm pretty curious about you. <laughs> I, you know, I do a podcast and, and I sit and I talk with people for like an hour and I feel like that's my therapy, like talking about Yeah, I think if you talk a lot, you don't need to go to therapy. No. It's like if you drink a lot, you don't have to stop. <laughs> exactly. I'm glad you figured out my life yeah. plan. <laughs> it's fine. We gotta go. Is there anything else? Uh, is there anything else? Mm. Other than, oh, I wanted to point out that Santa mm. Claus has abducted a tiny uh, Caucasian child and is <laughs> flying out of Los Angeles. Can we get a close-up of that? There's a baby hanging out of the back of that thing. Is and it? She, yes, and she, see her little head hanging out of the back of that sleigh? Have you been, have you been doing drugs? I am dead sober, <laughs> and I have eyes like an eagle. You don't see that on the close-up? Yeah, yeah, no, it. everybody sees it, too. <laughs> Aisha Tyler, everybody, we'll be right back. I swear to you from this point on, I will not rest until I find that tick. <laughs> I used to tell her, I know that you're a relatively uh, newly minted American, and uh, a few years now. This yeah. is uh, this is my welcome to you. Welcome to the United well, States. Well, I love, I love the rapping, and I'm looking forward to the present. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, thank it's, it's you. Lovely. Thank you very much. The yeah. Shoes, the, wow. Good for you. Yeah. 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 You really made a sex tape with your husband? Oh God, I don't know if you can call it a sex tape. It, that, uh, we can. We can call it a I sex guess you tape. Can call yeah. it, was, it was sex and on tape, and it was on tape. By the way, it was still in the days when VHS oh, tapes right. ruled so the land. Like, so. right, no, 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 no. Yeah. Even if you yeah. find it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like this. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. We did right. it. Keep excited. Keep excited. We 
We did it on a MacGyver style yeah. like cassette Ooh. tape recorder, Craig. And then like <laughs> But so even if you did find it, you wouldn't be able to find the technology to play it back. Yeah, well, I don't know. I'd find a way. I don't know. I... It's gone. But I just I just think that everybody thinks that they're super hot, and I think that porn professionals are professionals. You know what I mean? That they've taken classes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Class. They do. Class. It's like, okay. welcome to porn university. Now right. Uh, yes. Let's get this thing. <laughs> Come and give me 20. <laughs> yes, exactly. We're gonna work on uh, jaw musculature. Um, the thing is. <laughs> That it's not as exciting uh, to look back at it as it was to do it. I've ever. always felt that way about sex. That mm -hmm. It's a little bit like, uh, you know, pool or, mm -hmm. uh, you know... Um, Jenga. Yeah, you know, I, I'd, rather, I'd rather be doing it than watching it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. uh, watching it, I'm like, oh, pff, I could do it better. Or is yeah. that what you're thinking? Yeah. I sometimes I, I look at uh, some of those professional uh, film projects and I think, yeah. uh... You watch a lot of those professional Here's what projects. happens. You're on the internet and you're reading about, you know, the Kardashians or molecular biology. It and then happens, you yeah. click on the wrong link and all of a sudden it's uh, something, somebody... Or the somebody... right link. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then once you're there, it's, you know, you're just... Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. <laughs> Off come the pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't, can you talk like this at the talk? Can we you? do talk like this at the talk. I know you do, talk. actually, because yeah. I've been on that show a bunch of yeah, times. Yeah, we do. I don't know how you get away with it. It's your life. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I also think... Uh, we're live, too, obviously. Are we? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I just think, you know, the whole goal of the show is for everybody to be honest and tell the truth and be themselves. It's remarkably, uh, it's a remarkably honest show. Yeah, it's quite yeah. daring in places. I remember I was on once when Sharon admitted to having an affair with Jay Leno. <laughs> <laughs> I was yes. like, Sharon, what are you talking about? <laughs> and I was like, and she was like, oh, I feel so bad about it. Yeah. <laughs> And it, it, there were like wide ranging repercussions. There was like, because yeah. they hadn't spoken in a long time. Oh, then God. there was a detente. They came back together. He sent flowers. Maybe they met in a parking lot. I have no idea. Oh, wow. I have no, but they made up. They, it was great. They came back together. Well, good, good for yeah. them then. Yeah. And now, are you still out doing the stand up and stuff? Yeah, all the time. Um, do you wear a dress like that when you do stand up? No, I never do. I look like a man on stage. Baby, yes. you can never look like a man no matter <laughs> what you do. I look like a very feminine. I look a little bit like uh, Lafayette on True Blood when I'm on stage. <laughs> uh, what is she? But um, yeah, no, I, all the time. Every, I'm out a couple weekends a month still. I love. Really? I'll yeah, never no, stop. I like I'll never too, stop yeah. doing it. You got to get out there. You know, you got to stay sharp. Yeah, and I think that that's it. the only thing that I get because I love to. I always go out and do stand up as much as I can. Mm -hmm. But the. What I get is when comedians, when you say, you, you shouldn't say that, man, that's bad. And they're like, yeah, you're messing up my First Amendment rights. I'm allowed to say it. I'm like, yeah, but you're allowed to say it. I'm just calling you a jerk for saying yes, it. Yes, absolutely. A, there are repercussions for saying things. I think that's the point. You have yeah. to be able to take responsibility for everything that comes out of your mouth. You have to be willing to do that. And I don't yeah. think it's fair to say, it was a joke. Well, if it was a good joke, then you would have been Richard Pryor or Chris Rock. Right, right, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're kicking it at the ha-ha hole in Poughkeepsie, New York. So, um, <laughs> have you played the ha-ha hole? I've played so many ha ha holes. Yeah. Jeff, them... have you ever played the ha ha? Oh, many times. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, there's a tape of it that I made a couple of years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what about what about you doing this show? I heard rumors you were going to do this one. Uh, I'm done. I, I, the internet is rife with rumors. In addition, baby, to you'd porn. be great. At oh this. my God! No, Craig, you'd so be sweet. great at it. You'd, well, like you know, you'd be better than me. No way! Yeah, You're amazing yeah. at this. Yeah, show. no, you could get yourself a skeleton, maybe. Oh no, yeah, can, can, kind of that one. Kind of. You no, know, that's you, yours. That's no, I mean, I'm gonna get a foxy. Like the horse. Yeah. Like a lady skeleton. Get a lady skeleton. Yeah. Um, you know, I I've been a comedian for 21 years now. I think any young comedian a job like this is their dream. You know what I mean? It's a dream job. Yeah, You've aim done... higher, young comedians. Uh... <laughs> um, and, I, you know, it would be incredible. I think it would be uh, an amazing gig. I have an amazing gig now that I really yeah, you love. Do. Yeah, you um, do. And, uh, and I have a lot of fun at it, and I love coming here and visiting you. But, you know, I think it might be nice, because then it would be less people that look like me doing this and more people look like you doing this. It know would, what I mean? It would be nice if Late Night didn't look like the, the, the board meeting uh, at uh, Chevron. <laughs> You know what I mean? That would be great, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it would be nice to mix it up. 
And I'm, I'm really lucky because my job, I've always been, you know, I've always done this. I mean, talk soup and, and you know, whose line is it anyway? You know, right. I speak, this is kind of the gig that I do most of the time, which is tell jokes behind a desk, which I've yeah. always loved to do. Um, and right now I tell jokes behind a big table. But, uh, you desk, know, Desk, table, cool. it's all the same. Yeah, yeah. it would be nice to have a lady doing this, I think, for sure. But um, Well, there is sort of a lady doing it now. <laughs> no way, my friend, you are all men. You are all men, look at God you. God bless you. We'll be right back with Aisha Tyler. <laughs> Yes. Welcome back. I'm here with Aisha Tyler. Uh, who will probably be here a little more often soon. <laughs> I'm just stoking the internet a little bit. There you go, internet. Run with that. <laughs> I love visiting you. You're one of my favorite people in the world. Really? Yes. What about Santa? Um, <laughs> Uh, Santa, Do you believe in Santa? Uh, well, here's what happened. When I was 10 years old, uh -oh. Santa brought me a bicycle, uh -huh. uh, a copy of Little Women, and my parents divorced. So we are not talking anymore. Yeah, we are not talking. <laughs> Is that what he said? Yeah, was. He was Santa like, brought you this, too. Yeah, exactly. Mommy and Daddy still love you, but they're going to live in separate yeah. houses. And I was like, and I get a book? Yeah. I want a plane. Yeah, yeah. well, no, Santa, Santa seems like a nice figment of people's imaginations. No, yeah. come on, man. Yes. That's, that's Do you too... believe in Santa? Yes, I You're do. You're adorable. Not only do I believe in Santa, I have met Santa Claus. Oh, yeah? Yeah, in Vermont. I went to a gas station, and I was... <laughs> And I was with my kids, and uh, there was a guy with a beard. Uh, my oldest boy was really young at the time. It was about January. And, uh, you know, and uh, he pointed at this guy with a big white beard, and he went, look, Santa. And I went, so it is. And the guy saw us looking over, and he came over, and he went, yep, it's me. <laughs> By the way, every slightly rotund guy with a beard longer than an inch is rocking that myth all day yeah. long. We had a guy in the audience at the talk the other day. It's like June. And he's like, ho, 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 ho. I'm like, what are you doing here? Don't you have toys to make? You drunk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I like the idea of a guy yeah. giving around you know, presents to kids and without just, being creepy about yeah, it. Yeah, and, and breaking all laws of physics and yeah. travel. Yeah, that oh, too. physics. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. Oh, so. no. How Uncle, sad. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I'm really excited because I'm actually going to see you next week when, uh, at Comic-Con. Oh, you yes. are? Yeah. You are moderating the panel for Game of Thrones. Which yeah. I, Game I, of Thrones! That music has absolutely nothing to do with Game of Thrones whatsoever. Yeah, but we um, can afford that piece of music. <laughs> <laughs> um, which I'm a huge fan of. I've read all the books. I'm right. super excited. I haven't I'm, read the books. I, they're gonna go, they're, the, the audience are going to tear me apart. Oh, no, I've only seen the TV show. You have the accent. They'll love the accent. Okay. Fit right in. Um, I'm hosting the Penny Dreadful panel. Nice! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, and, uh, and doing Archer, I'm gonna do an Archer panel. Yo, and, yeah, I can imagine that. Yeah, yeah you'll be, be like royalty fun. down there, I'm, Archer. I'm, well, you know, there's like three black nerds in the world, so people just, we're, we're literally like unicorns. People just click, 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 click. I saw Santa, and then I saw a black nerd. Uh, click, 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 click. I saw Aisha Tyler, make a wish, make a wish. <laughs> So we'll have some fun. Don't yeah, we will. I'll see you down there now. Yeah, it'll be great. All right, then. Aisha yeah. Tyler, everybody. Where we're at. for the way things are. I think it'd be better if we all just admitted there are questions without answers like, is Bigfoot real? Is, is Lady Gaga a dude? And would Bigfoot get it on with Lady Gaga if he was, if he was real and she was a dude? Yeah. <laughs>